nom 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 Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Tasty Planet Back for Seconds. Now this game is actually the first phone game that I've recorded on this channel. I've played iPad games, but I guess they're technically the same thing. But this one is really, really cool because it's, well, a lot of people would probably relate it to the idea of Agario, but in all honesty, it's less to do with that and more to do with Katamari Damacy. Damacy? I don't even know how to say it properly. And what's even weirder is the setup that I have to record this because I got it, I got my iPhone mirrored to my giant, uh, computer monitor, and then I'm just dancing around with my finger touching the phone, which is even more bizarre, but I'm just trying to get by, so everyone bear with me. So these two scientists made what is called Grey Goo, and if you don't know about Grey Goo, it's a theoretical idea where scientists made a nanomachine that was capable of rebuilding itself and actually duplicating itself using things that are in the environment, and this is bad because once these things are autonomous enough, they would eventually consume everything on the planet while also rebuilding themselves to the point where they get so big that they actually start consuming people, then buildings, then whole continents, and eventually the entire planet would be reconstituted into even more gray goo. And that, my friends, is a very bad- Oh, sorry, Rat. I like it how I change colors into the thing that I last absorbed into my body. Come back here! Oh, you escaped this time, but don't feel so lucky next time. I- it, it's actually awkward because the controls are me sliding my finger across this thing, whereas also, I could tilt my finger around there, but I'm not gonna do that to myself, because I'm not a masochist, despite what all the evidence on the internet points to. I don't like to punish myself all that much. Oh, that poor rat. It's just a squeak and it's gone, and that's what could happen to you if you let the Grey Goo become a reality. But hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully a lot of the doomsday scenarios don't happen, because they are very sad and very scary. Can I be done yet? Rat, done? Little more? How about this? There we go, that a boy. Okay, so eventually throughout this game, it also kind of relates to a game that I played a long time ago called, like, Little Fishy or something like that. Oh, by the way, those are the scientists that were too stupid to actually make this thing. Be careful around larger entities, some of them will hurt you if they touch you. Now, this is more in relation to where it comes to Little Fishy, because Little Fishy actually was a game where you were a tiny itty bitty fish in the ocean of a bunch of bigger fish. But those little bastards didn't know what was coming for them, because you actually ended up growing much more intensely than they planned. Ah! Okay. So I'm assuming he doesn't kill me right off the bat, he probably just drops my size down a little bit. Good kitty, good kitty. I don't know why these cats aren't going for all the different rats that are out here. Yay! I can absorb that! I can absorb that! I can absorb the rat! I can absorb that! Not that yet, but you're next, bitch! See, I'm steadily, steadily, steadily making more and more progress, and then the cats that thwarted me will now be my bitch. Ah, not yet. Ow. Man, what kind of lab is this where there's just rats escaping all over the place anyway? It doesn't seem like very sanitary conditions. I mean, all things considered, especially the scientists that accidentally fed me. Oh, it's your time! I'm sorry. That actually kind of feels bad, but oh well. Survival of the fittest, baby! I gotta get you down into my gullet. No matter what, because I must survive. I guess I could play it up here. Yep. Sorry, kitty! Oh god, that's so sad. Oh my god, 50 rats?! THREE CATS?! Oh god. Just wait till it gets even worse and worse, cause it's gonna get bad. It's gonna get a whole lot worse before it gets better. And it's never gonna get better. That time machine sure looks tasty. If you get big enough, maybe you'll be able to eat it. Oh, that's good! Wait, why am I small again? What the hell happened? I thought I was gonna be bigger! Well, this is a bunch of bullshit! Where did this go wrong, huh? It may have been spurned by the success of Agario and now Slitherio, which I am gonna play more of. I will play more Slitherio, I have not forgotten that. Since I'm actually good at that and it doesn't relate to the douchiness of others around you. Whoa, hello! Okie dokie then. Hey scientist! What are you gonna try to stop me? I'm your uncontrollable creation, you can't do anything to stop me. I am fully autonomous and with plenty of bloodlust in my soul. You guys are gonna die dead. Oh, this is so cool, though. But you can see what I mean when I say that it's related to Katamari Damacy. Damacy. Ka Katamari. Whatever, you know what it's called! Don't judge me, I don't know what to call things. I don't know how to word, right? 
Ah, God, I wish my finger wasn't so sticky. I'd be able to slide it around a little better. Don't take that out of context. Whoa, I've escaped! You better run! <laughs> yeah! Now we're getting into the thick of it. Now things are going wrong, and it was their fault for leaving so many pieces of lab equipment strewn about on the floor like this. It's just irresponsible. Yum yum. Thank you. Sorry, kitty. You gotta go. All oh, these guys, poor pets, they're just walking around. They're so helpless, they don't even know. Yes! More! And eventually I'll get that time machine right there. Oh, but this is so cool. I always love, uh, if you guys ever saw, like, the scale of our universe, it's like this little, uh, program online, or it's this little website that lets you see, like, zooming in all the way to the smallest known particle and the smallest theorized particle, all the way down and down and down and down to, or up and up and up and up, to the largest object in the universe, or the entirety of the universe, I forget what it actually is. But you can see through stars, and planets, and cells, and like individual strands of DNA, all the way down to subatomic particles, and fundamental particles, Fundam fundamental particles. Yes! I got a time machine! Uh-oh. It ain't my time machine! Poof! Where'd he go? The chronoton particles in my time machine must have caused a local temporal distortion. The goo! Travel back in time! Oh. Why am I small again? This is bullshit. Oh well, but I guess I must carry on. Oh! Oh! I'm gonna go through time again and then come back to the future and then destroy everything. Even though, if I was absorbing everything throughout all of the entirety of time... Pause the game by- okay. Good to know. But I didn't need to know that because I'm too good for this. Wow. Rocks. I guess my diet sure has changed from cats and rats to rocks. But in the past, what are you gonna do? What else can you do? Mmm, indeed. I'm gonna get you spiders in just a little bit, just bear with me. I've got a lot of growing to do, emotionally and physically. Oh, hello, jeez, you doofy looking ant. Oh, uh, those not spiders? I thought they were spiders. Obviously ants, what am I, stupid? Probably. There you go, the big ants now in my gullet. And I'm gonna continue on my rampage, whether you like it or not. Goodbye! Goodbye! Also, if you hear any gross crunching sound, that's because Chica's in the room and she's currently chewing on a bone. So <laughs> ignore that, and definitely focus on the gross crunching that's happening as I'm eating all these ants in an eco-terrorist disaster that's gonna cause a rip in the fabric of time. And that's a snail, goddamn. So yeah, it's basically just gross all around, just everything eating everything else, which is kind of like- Whoa! Oh, okay. Larva! Yum. I'm gonna bear grills this up. Rocks, more rocks, love rocks, so happy. It's just so interesting because I always love seeing things from different perspectives. Like, that's what made Spore, like, potentially interesting back when, you know, it was first- Before it was actually released and everyone knew what was actually coming out of the game and it just became a dick monster simulator. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? I'm gonna get you eventually. But before it became a, a simulator of making the w most horrifying dick monster that you possibly could, it actually was interesting because it seemed like it was gonna actually open up a ton of avenues to exploring, like, the possibility of how these creatures survived and, like, more intricate ways that they go about life and stuff like that, and more, more, like, more... A grander understanding of things on that scale, from the very smallest cell to a large and complex organism. And it fell short, admittedly, it did fall short of a lot of its goals, but, you know, that idea was still there, and hopefully it could have pertained. But this, in reality to everything else, is just mindless eating, and I'm totally on board with that because it's super fun. Oh, the grub! Uh, <laughs> man, I can't get that image out of my my head when Bear Grylls like ate a ate a huge larva and it just kind of kind of exploded. And it was really disgusting, <laughs> but it kind of just exploded everywhere. Also, by the way, I'm not good at this. Ah, shrew! It's an old shrew. You know, the music is oddly cheerful for me being such a horrible thing that's eventually gonna destroy all civilization and everything that could ever hope to be. Hello, turtle! I like you. But everything that could hope to be in the future, because this is, obviously, if the butterfly effect is real, then this is having the worst effect because I'm about to eat me up some butterflies and it's not gonna be good for the world. But oh well! At least, coming close anyway. Oh, come on, how much more do I need? Yummy. Come on! Give to me! There we go. Yep, butterfly effect confirmed and everything is gonna be horrible. Yay! Destruction. 
Oh, sorry. Oh, it's so sad. They just want to live and I come by? They didn't even think that anything was going to happen. Oh, the shrew. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop me before I kill again. I take a lot of time on this because I'm not exactly good, but I'm also trying to talk at the same time. And I can't see because my big fat finger is sliding all around the screen and causing me to block up everything. But that is whatever the hell this was called. I totally forgot. What was it called? What was it called? Tasty Planet, that's what it was called. So that is Tasty Planet. Thank you everybody so much for watching. This game is really fun. The only unfortunate thing is that it does cost money, but I think there's actually an ad supported version on the store as well. So you can play for yourself. I obviously I can't provide a link, but thank you everybody so much for watching. And hey, if you want to see this game again, let me know in the comments below. Thanks again. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Okay. How you doing? So you only have 10 seconds to beat him as what? Well. Whoa. Oh!